Y'all really couldn't wait like a couple more hours really with the news? Come on. So here I am working the whole day on my brand new office setup for YouTube and I, I decided to take a break because I've been working all day, you know, lugging stuff out of the room, lugging stuff into the room. It was a lot of work. So I take a break, I go onto Twitter, see what's happening, and there's a lot of stuff happening. I missed out on apparent security breach leaks, which by the way, uh, those are fake, and I am gonna do a video um, on those things separately, so I won't get too much into them right, right now in this video. Also, if I'm out of breath, it's because I just had to lug my lights back from my new office space into this room again, so I'm tired, it's really hot. Yeah, so those leaks are fake, I will cover them in a separate video, most likely tomorrow. Um, but also, literally a couple minutes after that, I tweeted out like, y'all really fell for some Dreams FNAF fan game hoax, ha ha ha, poggers. Uh, like, not even a minute after that, I got news that the new book cover and description is out, so... Oh boy, here we are. So the latest release of the Fazbear Fight book series is number four, Step Closer. Uh, we do know that a fifth, sixth, and seventh book are coming. Um, we know the fifth is called Bunny Call. We already have the cover for that. We've already done a video on it. Go check it out. Go check it out. It's linked down below. But number six, we we knew the title, but we did not have a cover. And as far as I'm aware, we also did not have a description for it. And then book number seven, we know the name. It was called The Breaking Wheel. Apparently, that name has been taking. That apparently that name has been taken off the like the Amazon page. So I don't know if, if it's called. The Breaking Wheel anymore? That name might have changed, I honestly don't know. We're saving that for a FNAF news video. Uh, but yeah, as I just said, the cover and description for the sixth book called Black Bird has been released. So, let's have a look at it. Let's all smash the like at the same time. Three, two, one, go go go. Let me just say, when this thing popped up on my Twitter feed, I was like, what the hell? This thing is terrifying, and I am not messing around. You guys thought the cover for Bunny Call was creepy. Have a look at this. This is... Oh my god, I can't even put it into words. It is honestly terrifying. It appears to be this humanoid crow character with these, uh, with these small eyes that don't really have eyes. It's more just like yellow pupils. They have an orange beak coming out of their feathers. Oh my god. It's really creepy because you just have this... Again, hum what looks like a humanoid bird, um, but it's really just feathers and everything else is tucked away behind those feathers, hiding behind them. Um, right off the bat, just looking at the cover, no description read yet for this video, uh, I don't really know uh, if this is referencing anything. Obviously, the only bird character we know about are the chicas, but it doesn't look like a chica at all. So yeah, using the cover to our advantage, um, well, we don't really have an advantage, um, but looking at the description, we can make a few guesses. So this is the description. To avoid confronting an ugly truth, Noel falls prey to a monster that punishes past transgressions. Growing weaker by the day, nine-year-old Jake looks back on the time before he was sick, imagining life as if he were well again. And forever desperate to prove his worth to his arrogant brother and distant father, Toby chases victory at an arcade game with horrifying consequences. But in the unpredictable world of Five Nights at Freddy's, sometimes the past can take on a life of its own. In this sixth volume, Five Nights at Freddy's creator Scott Cawthon spins three sinister novella-length stories from different corners of his series' canon, featuring cover art from fan-favorite artist Lady Fizzy. Readers beware, this collection of terrifying tales is enough to unsettle even the most hardened Five Nights at Freddy's fans. So taking a dive into this, Okay, uh, let's go story by story. So if you guys are new to the Fazbear Fight uh, books, book series, then first off, <laughs> going into a video discussing the sixth, the sixth book in the franchise, probably not the best idea. <laughs> but if for some reason you don't care about that, um, this, these series of books contain three stories together. First story is always about what is shown on the cover and what is teased for the title. And then there are also two additional stories within the book. So the first story for Blackbird is Noel falls prey to a monster that punishes past transgressions. So this Noel character did something wrong. He broke some rule, he broke some law, and now there is a monster hunting him, um, and he that monster is going to punish Noel for whatever he did. Uh, nothing jumps out immediately. I'm sure there's some 
connection to some characters within the franchise, but honestly, I can't think of any right now. If you guys have any ideas, that's what the comment section is for. Growing weaker by the day, nine-year-old Jake looks back on the time before he was sick, imagining life as if he were well again. Again? <laughs> again! Again! Uh, nothing really resonates with me with that statement. Um, Jake? We don't know about any Jake characters. All of these characters appear to be new, right? Noel, Jake, Toby... Honestly, I think Scott's running out of names. But yeah, this this story as well doesn't really stick. I, I don't think it's referencing anything. I do think it's a new character. Um, as if he was sick. Maybe it's talking about William. Um, you know, like before he was dead, when he was well, when he was a father figure with his children. Um, and, you know, he was working a stable job as the... I think he was the tax guy at Fredbear's. I think he walked all the paperwork while well, Henry uh, actually created the animatronic, so maybe it's talking about that, but I don't know, that that doesn't really seem right, if I'm being honest, I just threw it out there as an idea. And finally, um, Toby chases victory at an arcade uh, game with horrifying consequences to prove his worth to his arrogant brother and distant father. Now, the last story may not scream William, but this one definitely does. Toby definitely plays Elizabeth in this role, um, just think about it, you know, a, um, an arcade game? To prove to their distant father and arrogant brother, it's it's exactly what Elizabeth did in the um, cupcake minigame from Sister Location. Right, so when you beat the minigame, you get the ice cream, you go all the way back to the beginning of the minigame, and then, you know, Circus Baby gives Elizabeth the ice cream, and Elizabeth, unfortunately, dies. Whoever the brother is, doesn't really matter here, I know there's a lot of theories going around about who people think the brother actually is, whether or not it's the crying child, or the bite victim, or Michael, I really don't care, and really it doesn't apply to this description as of right now. It probably will in the book. Um, I would be so astonished if we actually find out who the brother is. Actually, that would be insane. Because again, these books are made to fill in plot holes from the game, so who knows? That, that would be a great and really important plot hole to cover up. Uh, distant father, of course, they probably haven't seen each other for a long time because that is the reason why Michael goes down into sister location to see his sister again. Because in the final cutscene for Sister Location Custom Night, uh, we learn that William actually told Michael to go down there, right? Your sister is down in this bunker, go see her. So I think that um, is what that final uh, story is going to be about. And if it is about that, again, it's not going to be exact because it's about Toby and not Elizabeth. It's about Toby's family, not the Afton family. It's going to be different, but I feel like there could be some very strong connections to make there and some really good lower points to piece piece together piece together yeah so i feel like that is going to be a very very important one uh going back to the cover i just want to go back to the cover because my god this thing is terrifying as freak really that is all the news i have today this was just a quick update video because i saw that the that the description and the cover was out so i was like you know what even though this is a very unfortunate time to get a lot of FNAF news, I gotta do it. I actually did have a video prepared, it's already uploaded, I'm just waiting to have the thumbnail done, but since I've been working all day, I didn't get the thumbnail done, so I'm kinda glad I did not upload it, um, because, you know, I've, I've got this video for today. I'll probably upload it tomorrow, maybe, but I definitely do want to get out that security breach leak video, which, again, it's not true, they're not actually leaks, it was a PS4 dreams, so... Yeah, it's not true. I do want to get that video out because um, I want to tell people, like, this is not real. This is not a leak. This is a hoax, if you can even call it a hoax. So yeah, expect those two videos very, very soon. I'm going to quickly edit this together and get back to working on my brand new office, which should be ready in the next couple of days. I'm very excited. So far, it looks really good. Hopefully, you guys will like it when it's all done. I will do a vlog about it, so... I'm really excited for that. Um, thanks for 5k. I said it in a community post, but thanks again. You guys mean so much to me, and I'm just very, very happy to, you know, to be in the place that I am. So thanks for that. Hope you guys have a fantastic week, starting a brand new one. Let's get it. Let's punch it in the face. All right, I'm gonna see you guys later. Goodbye. It's a weird outro. Why do I do weird outros? What's wrong with me, man?